download the multiplication.xls file from YouTube information section below. Just click on the hyperlink to download your copy of the multiplication XLS file. Once you've downloaded it, which I've done so here on my desktop, double, double click on the file to open it up. What you'll notice is you, you may need to enable macros, which I've already pre enabled on Excel. Once you've done that, <coughs> you will be presented with a number of worksheets which I'll go through one by one. First of all, the first worksheet is multiplication table worksheet. The second one is a multiplication worksheet. The third one is multiplication sums worksheet. And the final one is multiplication solutions worksheet. Let's go through them one by one. Let's start with the first one. Basically what this worksheet does is allows you to generate a 10 by 10 grid or a 12 by 12 grid and you can generate the multiplication table. When you click on multiplication table this actually generates the grid. First of all let's go through the settings. This is a 12 by 12 set grid which is a 0 to 12 times table and have 1 to 6 at the top and 7 to 12 which means it's a 12 times table it does go to 12 times 12 is 144 so that is a 12 by 12 times table in, other, in effect except for the zero obviously I've included that for the sakes most people seem to overlook that 0 times 1 equals 0 or 0 times any number equals 0 so I've, I've included that in this times table and let's take a look at the first option which is a 10 times 10 when you click on this this will allow you to generate a 10 times 10 set table some countries other than the west majority of the western countries use a 12 times 12 table as opposed to 10 times 10 however the far eastern countries use 10 times 10 tables so I've included that in there and then click multiplication table again this will generate a 10 times 10 table so you have 0 to 10 across there and you have 1 2 3 4 5 at the top 6 7 8 9 and 10 this takes you to a 10 times 10 equals 100 times table or multiplication table that is the first option so if you want a 12 times 12 table you uncheck that if you want a 10 times 10 you check it the second option here is a drop down box which allows you to select one times table this is where the starting point is or an 11 times table and when you select 11 times table you basically click multiplication table and this will generate your multiplication table 0 to 10 11 to 20 times table this is a worksheet so you can literally print these worksheets out using print and this is the print preview it will print in this format in this orientation landscape orientation so you can use it in school furthermore <coughs> you can select a 21 times table and it'll generate that happily from 21 to 30 and 31 times table a lot of the far eastern countries use these times tables up to 10 so you have 40 times 10 there and 41 times table like so so you can use these worksheets in, in the classroom or for homework to hand out now a 12 times 12 table again is very similar you, you still have these options on a 12 times 12 table so select the 11 times what you'll notice is this extends slightly further than you would expect so you have 0 to 12 in the 12 times table and 11 to 22 as this is a slightly greater table than what you'd expect you wouldn't use this in westernized countries you would only use the first option which is 
are more common in the Western country to learn up to a 12 times 12 table as opposed to the others. But it, the option is there and it is available if you want to further yourself. <coughs> okay, so that covers the all three different options and styles of worksheets that you can generate and this these three options will exist on every single worksheet so let's move on to our second worksheet which is the multiplication worksheet this is slightly different from the first one in the first one you have your multiplication table and all your solutions are missing so you get the, the child to fill in all your solutions on the second worksheet what you have is your multiplication table in exactly the same format that you can generate and what you have here is a randomly missing value on each row of your multiplication table this means that you fill in the missing value in this case on your multiplication table <coughs> Similarly, on a 10 times 10 table, you would get the same option. You can see all the solutions as it's generating, but what you're more interested in are is print, being able to print this worksheet out and hand it out to children to fill in. And again, it's randomly selecting values to remove so the child can fill in these values. <coughs> Let's move on to the next worksheet, which is the multiplication sums worksheet. Again, this is very similar. This is randomly generated worksheet. This is basically multiplication sums to the max. You have random numbers in that column. You have random numbers in there. And the solutions of these values multiplied together makes the solutions here. But th in this worksheet, multiplication worksheet, you have numbers that are sequential you can see these numbers are 0 to 10 sequentially going up in ones and your 11 times or 12 times table again sequential but here on the multiplication sums worksheet they are random completely random numbers in this column here and in this column and therefore the solutions are slightly different so you do you can again fill in the missing values but they're randomly generated sums as opposed to a sequential sum let's move on to the final worksheet and what we have here is a solutions worksheet multiplication solutions worksheet now this you as you may you may think that it's not all that important to have a solutions worksheet but it is the way I look at it is to start learning multiplication sometimes it depends on how you how you're being taught usually in five Eastern countries I think you learn it parrot fashion which means two times one equals two or four times one equals four and so on and you've learned them sequentially down but they they are there, there are different methods in western countries that part fashion method was being used once nowadays they're taught slightly differently you're, you're taught to count in twos or you're taught to count in threes which is zero two four six eight ten for the two times table and you're counting literally in twos and counting in threes down slightly more difficult to remember but you can always work them out <coughs> the solutions worksheets are there to hand out to children if they do need them to work off or learn by themselves in their own time again the same three options exist selecting a 10 by 10 grid or a 12 by 12 grid print the solutions off, hand them out, they can put their name and class in there and learn in their own time if they haven't had any form of multiplication table 
So these worksheets can all be printed out and handed out to children in your class. So don't forget to download your copy of Multiplication XLS file from the info section below on YouTube and enjoy.